hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an update on my project where I'm aiming to finish 50 different items. So far I have finished 6 items out of 50 and I've been working on this since 2022, since July 2022 actually. So this is my 2 years and 3 months update I believe. So yeah, we've been working on this for a while and I'm going to show you guys my updates. Also to note, I'm not working on 50 items all at once and technically I could roll in more than 50 items because I can, because I'm just going to keep, keep on rolling new items in until I reach my goal and that could mean that I'm actually working on like, you know, stuff that I'm working on right now could still be in at the very end of the project and not actually be rolled out. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this update. We're back to using my ring light. So I apologize for the glare in my glasses, but I literally cannot read any more of my glasses. So unfortunately they have to stay on now. Like I could get away with it like a year ago, but now I can't. So we're gonna go in it from oldest to newest. Let's get into it. So, the first item we have is my Nars Laguna. This is my bronzer that I've got rolled in here. I should also mention when I roll out items, I then roll in another item of the same. So, when I roll the bronzer out, I roll in another bronzer. So, this is the Nars. So, this is the bronzer currently. So this is the current progress with the bronzer. I don't really realise how much of a change there's been until I make these videos and I'm like, you know what? This has actually grown a little bit. Um, I've now used it 115 times in this project and so I don't even know how long it's going to take me to finish this but this has been rolled in since the beginning. So 115 uses and this was pretty much, well, I wouldn't say it was brand new. I reckon I will still be using this at like 300 uses. I'm not even joking. So let's see with that one. Then we have my Makeup Revolution blush. Uh, this is the Ultra Blush Palette in Hot Spice. Now I feel like this one for months looked like there was no difference at all. And then the last couple of updates, things have been changing. So this is where we're at now. I feel like in the last update, the ring was showing a little bit in like one of the corners, but now the the first ring is like completely showing. And we're also getting a space down here too, which is exciting. And I feel like, you know, it, it's coming through. It's actually happening. Things are moving. And uh, I'm excited to be working on this one. So I have now used this blush 300 and 85 times yes <laughs> and don't forget this is not a brand new palette i have used this for years i got this probably in the late uh noughties so i haven't got any signs of any other rings as of yet but it does feel like it's getting quite thin just overall so that's genuinely quite exciting and I'm excited to see the progress with this one coming through because you know you can always tell a lot more progress once these items hit pan so really exciting to see that happen. I thought forever that this blush would be in here until the end of time but now I'm feeling like you know what it will be definitely be finished before I finish this project which is very very exciting. Then we have my highlighter that I got rolled in here which is my Colourpop uh, Super Shock Cheek in Munster. The writing has all rubbed off at the top now but this is what we're looking at now. So the pan has increased a little bit here too. Again it has been like over two years now so you would expect it to do so but it still feels like we've got a long way to go with this one. And I feel like we just yeah I feel like this is just taking a really long time to make any like sort of progress but the, the pan has definitely gotten bigger and it's like more noticeable and I remember at the start of this project like because this this eyeshadow this, because this powder is so soft like it moves really easily it felt like for a while that the um, pan would like disappear and reappear but 
it's like fully staying now, which is exciting. But we're gonna keep on grafting and we will get there at some point in the future. Uh, I'm sure you'll notice, I'm gonna link in the, in the corner up here the first update so you can see the difference between now and then, just in case you haven't caught up with that yet. I think it's a good one to watch, uh, just so you can kind of see where I was then and now, because um, there's a lot that's changed. Next we've got the eyeshadow I've got rolled in, which is my MUA Merge Trio eyeshadow in Emotions. And I'm working on the third eyeshadow only, it doesn't have a shade name. And this is what it is currently looking like. So we can see, hopefully you can see that there is a big dip now, like huge dip. But we still not reached pan yet and I have no words. I don't think I've got an eyeshadow that's lasted this long. We are at 114 uses and I don't think we're even halfway through using this. Like I'm debating whether we're ever actually going to finish this eyeshadow. Like imagine we finish this project and that's not finished. Okay, then we have one of the least used items in this project and that is my eyeliner. This is my Beauty Bakery eyeliner in Gelato Black Milk and it is a gel liner. I think I already mentioned that but this is what it's looking like. Um, I'm afraid it probably doesn't look much dissimilar to the previous updates. Um, there wasn't really much to show. I think I don't even know it's in focus, but um, there's nothing really to share uh, progress-wise. Um, I mean, it looks like there's been more like dippage in there because there has been. The last like three months, I've been really trying to remember to pick this up. So we're currently at 43 uses. So yeah, we've still got a long, a long way to go as well with this one. I do reckon that this will be here until the end of the project. I think these two things could be here until the end. My Jelly Pong Pong Fig Jam lip product. This is in the shade, oh, isn't is in the shade Fig Jam. This is what we're currently working with. There is a big old dip. I feel like this dip has definitely got bigger. I mean, I have been using it, so of course it's gonna get bigger. But um, the dip is dipping, but there's no pan as of yet. And we're currently at, 100 uses on the dot um, so this was pretty much brand new when I rolled this into this project there was like maybe used maybe once or twice before this so yeah this is some hard grafting that we're going to work on with this one as well then we have my Fenty Beauty concealer this is the matchsticks in porcelain now when I rolled this in, there was probably like, it was probably this high above the thingy. I'm not too sure actually. But I roll up and this is as far as I can roll up now. So we have used quite a lot of it, I would say. I feel like it had to have been like up to here. But we are currently at 227 uses and I wouldn't be surprised in my next update if this is like either like decluttered because I can't get any more out of it or if it's going to be like completely flat or what the state it's going to be but I think we're going to be pretty much there I would be surprised if we weren't because I feel like we're grafting hard with this one I'm really really happy with the the progress we've made with the concealer then we have my fragrance which I feel like months ago I said I'll probably be finishing this in December and do you know what guys, I think we're on track. This is how much we've got left of this Zoella Blissful Mistful fragrance. And I have been using this consistently over the last two years and three months. And this purple mark was where we were at at the first year anniversary. And this is where we were at the second anniversary. And we've been now using this for a couple of months and we're now down here. I reckon we'll be finishing this in December and like my next update I reckon that this will be rolled out and we'll have something different working that I'm working on which you know is super exciting to be had like another one down in the list we've used this 132 times and 
pretty happy with that. I have also over the course of the last couple of years got used to the smell. I absolutely kind of like hated it at the beginning. It took me a really long time to kind of get used to it but now because I've been consistently wearing it I've got used to the smell. It's not my favourite. Uh, it's too like sharp and like fruity and not my kind of smell but I'm very very happy with the progress we've made here. So next up we've got an item that is not one of the original items actually. This was rolled in later. Um, there's been one item before this that was rolled in uh, which I'd already completed and rolled out. So this is like technically the second item post the original 12 items. So this is my brow bar. This is in the shade Cinnamon Spice. It is a mini eyebrow pencil and I have been using this every time I've worn makeup since April 2023. So it's been, what, a year and a half, give or take. And we are at 240 uses and this is where we're currently at. So I feel like it, it, it's definitely got smaller. I've definitely sharpened it since my last update. Don't be fooled. Uh, but I feel like we're not even halfway yet. I feel like we're maybe like nearly halfway, but not quite there. Um, we're still going strong with this one. We've got a while until this will roll out though, let's be honest. But it's still quite fun to see like the pencil getting smaller and smaller. And you do realise it as well. Like it's now... I don't know if you can see it with the with the focus but there is now text up here and it's already like sharpening into the text. Then in June last year I rolled in a lip salve. Okay my camera died I don't know if you caught that but the last item I was walking through was for Burt's Peace lip product. I've had this rolled in since June last year I've used it 214 times and it honestly looks like it's never been used if I roll it all the way up. However, when I roll it all the way down, there is obvious movement. So this is how much shows up at the top. And then when I roll it back down, you can kind of see inside that we are like around here. And when I first rolled this in, we were up here. So it's gone down like a centimetre. <laughs> so we're in with this one for a long time so I'm getting really distracted by the sunset. Look at that sunset. Okay the next item we have rolled in is my foundation. This was rolled in in June of this year. So it's been five months, four months, nearly five months. And this is where we're currently at. So I rolled it in at the top of the red bar and we're now just like underneath it, I guess. We have used this 18 times since I've rolled it in. We've got a little while to go, we'll see. This is quite a thick foundation. And I have to use a mixer to change the colour because it's too dark for my skin. But it's nice. You know, it gives nice coverage. And I don't have to use a lot of it at one time. So I feel like it's a little bit slower. But I'm pretty happy with that progress. Um, I reckon I've probably got like three or four months left. One before the last one. So the second to last. We have got my nail polish which I rolled in in July. This is my Matte Nails by Topshop. I have no idea what the shade name is because it has rubbed off. I don't have it like documented anywhere. Um, no idea what it's called but I've just also mixed it up so you can't see where it is anymore. But <laughs> I have used this eight times so that is on eight fingers at once, not once, uh, just say on eight fingers at random times. Um, we started where the green marker is there and I feel like we are like just underneath it. 
So we still got a long way to go until we can roll this one out. I am enjoying wearing this one. It is a matte nail polish, which honestly is like my kind of vibe at the moment. Like none of my nails today are actually in matte, but it, it is my style. So I have been loving to wear this one. Um, it's also quite a nice shade just in general to use. And then finally, in my last update, I included a new category which was for skincare or like hair care or like you know all the other bits and pieces that I don't roll into projects on a normal basis um I rolled into this as a category so I rolled in this this is a face mask it's from my little beauty which was like a beauty box I don't know if it still exists or not but um, they also, in their monthly subscription, sent out like their own brand, and this was one of the items. Um, this is several years old now, and this is a yeah a, a face mask where you put it on your face, and after five minutes you wash it off. Um, it is very weird when you first try it out though, because it is like a white liquid and then when you put it on your skin it turns brown and it just looks like a tanning moment that's just gone too far so i would never take a video of me using this because i feel like that could be like offensive because of just how bad it looks like it reminds me a lot of how how british girls used to wear makeup in like the noughties like proper chav style wearing the, long, the wrong shade of makeup style anyway i've used this only five times i'm honestly really bad at remembering to use skincare at the moment um i was really good at it for a couple of months and then i kind of fell out of it so i need to get back into it i think to kind of pick up my uses for that but yeah there we go that is everything um yeah that is everything um pretty happy with how steady the progress is going um excited to see the progress with my bronzer blush fragrance my concealer like their things i feel like are making moves and like you can see the progress like really happening and i feel like i feel like we're getting there and like I'm very excited like with the blush incredibly excited because I've never in my entire history of wearing makeup have ever finished a blush so the idea of that is just really exciting to me same as a bronzer actually I don't think I've ever finished a bronzer and if I ever have it's because they have been broken or I've decussed them before I knew any better um same with highlighters actually yeah, there's like all these different areas. I think I've only ever finished an eyeshadow, which I only first finished an eyeshadow like a couple of years ago. And also I finished concealers, I finished brow products, I finished nail polishes, I finished um, fragrances and foundations. But yeah, the harder items that I struggle with finishing are highlighter, bronzer and blush. So just seeing them, like inching closer to that and like getting those dips get those dips getting bigger has been really exciting to like witness and like notice and um yeah there we go that is my update do you guys reckon in my next update do you think i'll have finished my fragrance because i think that's the only thing in this selection that i think will be finishing this time of the year so let me know do you think we will be finished so yeah i think that's so yeah do you let me know do you think this little bad boy will be rolled out in my next update or like very very close to like pretty much being there and gonna be finished by the end of this year because I'm, I'm excited. I, I reckon it's going to happen. I think it's going to be really easy for this to be finished now. 
now that I can see how close we are, I feel like I'm going to be prioritizing this fragrance over my other other fragrances a lot. So, yeah. Anyway, that is my update. That is where I'm at. Exciting stuff. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. What was that wave?